Hello Rebrand Gang and welcome to another episode of Rebrand Everything. This is our first user submitted rebranding. Someone called Mason went on to rebrandeverything.com um, and filled out the rebrand suggestion form and he suggested that we take a look at the DeviantArt logo. So that's what we're going to do today. So DeviantArt is an online creative community where people share photography, paintings and just all sorts of general kind of art. I used to use DeviantArt about 12 years ago now um, and that was when I was learning about photography and I used to post stuff on there. Back when I used to use it 12 years ago the logo looked like this. And then when you log on today the logo looks like this. When I first logged on recently, I didn't really understand what the new logo meant. It obviously looks a lot more modern and a lot more fresh and sort of clear. But I wasn't quite sure what it was supposed to mean. With a little bit of research, I found out that it's a variant of the old logo with both the left and right chopped off to produce this shape. Um, to my eyes, it looks more like a 7L logo rather than DA, so I kind of feel like it's got a little bit lost in translation. And when I did go onto the website cold after not visiting for probably 10 years, I didn't really understand what it meant. Even though I don't get the logo, I still think it looks all round better than the old logo. But today we're going to come up with five new options, all that kind of try and retain that DA initial. So in the sketching phase, I had an overload of ideas in my head that I just wanted to get down on paper. I always like to make my logos as simple as possible, so I was just drawing icons that show the DA initials clearly, and then seeing if I could simplify it further and further, um, while still retaining that sort of recognition. I got quite a few interesting ideas for icons, but I didn't really think about the actual word mark that would sit with this at this point, as it's kind of hard to draw a font out on paper, so I felt that that part of it would be better left to the Adobe Illustrator process. So because deviant means depart from usual or accepted standards it kind of give, I kind of wanted to give some of these options like edgy and sort of grungy feel um, so I thought it would work quite nicely if I used a super simplified icon like super thick super fat and super clear and then maybe added some sort of like grunge effect maybe roughening up the edges or putting a little bit of sort of texture on top of it just to give it that sort of grungy look if you are enjoying this video so far and like the look of where we're going, please remember to press like, it will really help the channel out. Also, I have got an annoying situation where I have got 199 Instagram followers on at Rebrand Everything. If one person would follow me, that would be really good and make me a lot happier that I've got 200 instead of 199 because that is an annoying number. So for option one, I wanted to take heavy inspiration back from the original logo and simplify it to make it more iconic and memorable. I looked at the shape within the old logo and redrew this in my simple kind of grid-like style that I just love to do. Um, using the grid in Illustrator, just keep it all very geometric and very flat and clean um, instead of that rotated sort of 3D angled thing that they had before. I didn't really like that style, but I thought the icon within that was quite cool. When I was drawing this out, I thought that the icon would be improved by using a crossbar on the A rather than that vertical line that they used up next to the D. Um, I thought that would help the legibility and like clarity of it. A lot of the comments on my videos mention how sometimes the logos look too corporate and I think a lot of the time that's down to the font choice. So I wanted to focus on finding a font that fitted nicely with the icon rather than just going to my sort of go-to favourite corporate fonts. I felt like the sharp points and the edginess of Bliss Heavy fitted the look of the icon quite well um, and then I also adjusted a few of the letters to incorporate a light curve just to make a visual link to the curved line endings on the icon. So for option two, I wanted to take the idea that I had in my sketch pad that I thought could work quite well. Um, and I started out with the idea of using these transparent lines with rounded ends to create an overlay style logo. Now when I drew this out on paper, I was a little bit easy on myself by just making it all look just by kind of blurring over some of the edges. Um, but then in reality, when I actually was trying to make this clean and clear, it kind of just looked a bit messy when the lines were transparent. So as I didn't like that too much, and as I was developing through these shapes, I had a random idea just to change the style from transparent to solid, but then expand the stroke and then put a white stroke on that. This made some interesting patterns, so I decided to develop this a little bit further by playing with showing the DA letters in different ways. 
I looked at including an eye icon in the middle, but it felt a little bit forced and something like some sort of Illuminati logo, so I just dropped that idea. As I was playing around with this sort of tube icon, um, I just wanted to try and get that space in perfect so that the one side was like a D and then the other side was like a sort of abstract A. Um, and then the idea would be to use two different colors to differentiate them further as well. Um, and the way this works is that I'm just making a stroke with the rounded ends, I'm expanding that and I'm just putting a white stroke on that. So every time I wanted to make amends I had to sort of go back to the non-expanded stroke, adjust it a little bit and then bring it through again, um, go through the same process. But each time I was duplicating it so that I didn't lose anything. One of the other benefits about not using a transparent style for this logo is that I've avoided having to think about creating a secondary version for single colour use um, and like reversed use and stuff like that so it just makes it a lot easier for the brand guidelines. So then as the name DeviantArt implies an alternative and sort of edgy style I wanted to create an option that was a bit more rough and a little bit more grungy. This is a little bit out of my usual sort of style range, uh, but I felt like it could work. So I started with some thick solid text and then just roughened the edges a little bit. Out of all the fonts, I liked this one the most as it had them angled corners, which gave it a really distinctive and sort of offbeat style. I think the angled corners would kind of help the transition from the current logo to this one as well, um, as they use quite severe angles just to give it that, again, edgy look. I wanted to also include some sort of grungy texture on top so I created a shape and then used brushes to just give me a little bit of texture over that. And then I also wanted to use the same font for the word mark as is used in the icon but this caused sort of like a power struggle between the icon and the text. I decided to put the icon inside a block which also gave me another opportunity to include some more of the angled corners um, which tied everything together quite nicely. And then I decided to put that grungy sort of paint splattered texture which fitted in well with the art theme. I made that the colour of the block and then just overlaid that onto the text which kind of um, just gives it a little bit more arty sort of free feel um, which is a nice contrast to the sort of hard and angled text. So after the sort of aggressive and grungy option 3 I wanted to take option 4 back to a simple style using sort of bare minimum basic shapes to indicate the DA initials. I wasn't too worried about using uppercase or lowercase for the D and the A as it seems to like they just switch between them anyway on the old and the new logo. I just wanted to try and get the simplest possible shapes um, and make something that just looked good out of them and it was still recognisable as a D and an A. I gave the icon a transparent effect by cutting it into pieces and then making the overlap part darker. I then used an even darker version of that same green for the main word mark. Um, and I did that by just adding a little bit more black in the CMYK palette. Because I know I can't get through a video without mentioning the words 3D because I'm obsessed, um, to add a bit of excitement to option five, I wanted to try out some of the angled 3D effect sketches that I'd drawn out. Um, ones where it's kind of like, it's got essentially an imaginary line down the middle, and then we use some sort of perspective just to give it a little bit more interest. So I drew out a D and an A super basic shape to create the initials and then I moved the individual points around just with the white arrow direct selection tool um, to make it look a little bit more angled and dramatic. It looked okay but a little bit basic so I tried putting a big fat stroke on that to really amplify them sharp angles. To avoid the stroke overlapping the other letter, um, because the stroke was so fat it kept overlapping and it kind of makes these ugly shapes, I simply pasted another copy of the letters in front of that so that I could fill them with white and hide the stroke behind. I felt like by doing this it created a nice solid icon, a nice solid unit which needed a big strong word mark next to it to finish it off. So then Rebrand Gang, just before I show you them final options, I just wanted to remind you to press the little I button up there and vote for your favourite and then go straight down to the comments below. Let me know which one you voted for and why you voted for that one. Like this video if you want, it will really help the channel out. You can subscribe if you want videos like this every single week and remember to put the bell on so you get a notification every time I upload. If you would like to suggest a company for me to rebrand, visit rebrandeverything.com and I will add it to my list of rebrands to do in the future. So then Rebrand Gang, here are our final options.